back to my channel. So this morning I was looking through my Helen Elliston, Elliston, I always say her name wrong, uh, the tutorial boots and I came across a fantastic idea, not necessarily just for backgrounds. I was thinking of using it, I pulled the page out, I was thinking of using it for the sea. There's a couple of pages in here like a fish's tail that you could use this on. You could possibly use it on the sand as well. So the technique that I'm showing you is with alcohol markers. I am going to test it with a couple of different mediums because maybe the Jane Davenport mermaid markers would uh, do a similar thing if you've got them. And the technique, if I bring that a bit closer, is I don't even know what you'd call it. Well, this one is with the alcohol blender and that is quite pricey for this little bottle. I think it was nearly £10. And as you can see, it doesn't give an amazing effect to the paper. And this is, this is just cheap uh, notepad paper. But this one here that I'm going to show you today, I'll show you both of them. But this is the one that is my favourite, is with just hand sanitizer and you know under the circumstances I think everybody's probably got a hand sanitizer if not at home in the purse you know and it's cheap enough to pick up but that is the effect that I've managed to achieve and like I said I did get this idea from her colouring book so credit where credit is due I'm just going to pick a dark alcohol marker dark colour this is just the Ohuhu one I'm just going to use the chisel side and we'll just do a similar thing to the other one. This block colour doesn't necessarily really matter if it's streaky or not. It would help if I brought you in a bit closer. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter if it's streaky. Make sure it's got a good amount on there. I don't think it matters if you do it wet or dry. I mean, it's nearly dry as it is, but you see that bottom one is still wet. So let me just move this out of the way. I've got my little resin plate. This is the one I kept that I didn't do a really good job at, but it's uh, brilliant for this sort of task and for watercolour. This is really good as well. So we'll do the, the blending solution, the alcohol blending solution first. And all I did was just tin foil, plain old tin foil, and rolled it up into a ball. And then I'm going to put a couple of drops. There's four drops there on the plate. I know you're not going to be able to see it. It is clear solution, so you're not going to be able to see it. But I'm basically just going to dip the foil into it. Just tip it to one side so I can make sure I'm definitely seeing it. You can see just about there, you can see where I popped it. And we'll do that on the bottom one. So I'm just pressing down. And it will start lifting the colour up. So let's just wipe that off the plate. And I'm using two different separate pieces of foil. And then we've got the hand sanitizer, which this one is it's 70% alcohol, this one. I'm using so another piece of foil I'm just going to spread that out just lift it up again I might be able to catch it in the light there you go and the same sort of thing so I would leave that for a minute or so when it comes it does take quite a while to dry that is the only thing and with this one, I was wiping off the excess with just an old cloth and then unfortunately I went like this and smudged it and you can just about see the teeny weeny little bit of ink that spread out. So I'd leave it to dry for as long as possible. I might possibly use the heat gun on this and then come back. But I know it's not picking up on camera, but the alcohol blending solution doesn't really work for this sort of technique so I'll get this dry and then I'll come back I thought I would be 
been better off doing that on camera so you can actually see it but isn't that a cool effect so my idea is if I did that just bring you back out a little bit more if I do that on the bits where it's the sea in the background but not just use one colour a couple of different blues and then do that technique and let's see how it turns out you could possibly do it on the sand as well I'm not sure I'm not sure but let's uh, just tidy all this up and then I'll speed this little bit up because it'll probably take me a little bit of time to block colour all that in so I'll just speed this little bit up Right, so I've managed to do that with five different colours. I just sped it up because I just thought that bit would be a bit boring for you to watch. This is completely a tester. I will tell you the colours just in case you're interested. We've got uh, P, PB2 Brilliant Blue, BG5 Dolphin Blue, PB4 Napoleon Blue, uh, PB9 Cloud Blue, and PB7 pastel blue and they're all out of the uh, oh -hoo -hoo set and like I said this is a complete tester so if it fails it doesn't matter at least I've done it on camera then you don't have to do the same thing so I've got my little plate I'm gonna go with the hand sanitizer because that one seems to be clearly the better option I'm gonna do three squirts this time it's a good job I've got a million and one bottles of that for backup but that is the sort of effect that I'm after. So let's see. So I've got my little piece of foil. Now I'm just worried that it's going to bleed into the rest of the picture. But we'll just see. I'm just going to make sure that I'm spreading it out so it's just even. I'm using my cotton board again today because I thought that this would be messy. And I've got a jumper on so it's not too cold. Right, so wish me luck. Start off. We'll start off at the top corner, shall we? I don't think it'll matter if I get it on the white of the paper, you know, like the, the borders or anything, because it should just dry relatively clear. I've kept the heat gun plugged in, so I'll dry it on camera too. Let's just hope this works out. And I've just realised I've missed a little bit there. Always the wear. Always the wear. Once it's dry, we can go over the top. That's no problem. That's what I might do, actually. Do a couple of layers. That might give a better effect. We shall see. Right, so I'll put that to one side now. I'll pop it over here. I'll get my heat gun, which is at the back. And I apologise for the sound for a minute, but it is what it is. I'll start on this side first. I missed that bit there. It's not even like it's kind of it. 
worked. I'm going to go over with another layer, but I'll pick some slightly different colours. This is G6 Dusty Jade Green, and then I fancy a grey of some sorts. Um, cool grey 2, which is CG2. Let's just go for one more. Blue grey 3, BG. I don't even know how you would pronounce that. BG1103. Right, so let's try this. But I'm going to use the brush side this time. This might be... Oh, it's not too bad. So that is fully dry, that now. There isn't any uh, hand sanitizer left on that. So I will just try another layer. What's the back of the paper like? I have got a protective plastic sheet to protect the next page. Because this page is at the back of the book, it's wanting to bend back on itself. So there's no rhyme or reason here. I'm just going to plonk this colour wherever I see fit. Try the darker grey now. Again, I'll do the brush side. She says, and then she pulls the chisel side. <laughs> I might need an even darker one actually. That's not showing up too much. Let's get a darker one. Let's try cool grey four. Will that be that better? You notice as well though I went over the hair with a bit of blue so that little lady will have to get dark hair to cover that mistake up if you ever do a mistake like that you know there's always a way around of fixing it I can't think of anything worse than ripping a page out or putting crosses through it or anything like that that just stresses me out So let's do the same thing again. I've got my plate. Let's put some more on. Let's do one big square this time. And the same thing. I'm going to start off on the middle this time. Make sure I get that first grey area, you know, that one that I missed. You can see that it's working already. I suppose you don't have to use foil, it's just for the texture. You could probably, you could use a paintbrush, you could use your finger. Just make sure you wash your, your hands because you might get a little bit of the alcohol marker. I know it's hand sanitizer, but you might get a little bit of alcohol marker residue on your fingers. I think I've done plenty on this one. Let's move that to one side and pop the heat gun on it again.
that did take a little bit longer to dry because there was quite a few clumps but I don't know about you but I really love that effect I think that is so cool I'm going to do that at the bottom as well for the sand I think that is so cool and then what we can do when we've done the sand and done the same thing let it dry completely you can put some acrylic paint or gouache you know to make it look like waves oh I'm excited I'm excited right so again this next part with filling all this big area in I will just speed it up So I've made this quite streaky, as you just saw it, I was doing it super quick. I'll probably only speed it up two or three times over, but I did do that pretty quick. I've just gone in with a couple of darker shades, just to add a little bit of shading on the shells. And let's go ahead and just basically do the same thing. I'm going to add more this time, and let's just see. I wasn't being super careful as well around the edges, you know. Sometimes you just want to have fun with your page and not worry. And if it doesn't turn out the way that you thought, you know, it's fine. As long as you enjoyed the process. So I don't know if it's going to show up as well with the yellow, with it being a lighter colour. So I'll dry that now and then I might have to go in with another coat maybe. percent dry you can still see a couple of bits but we'll go ahead with a little bit more in these darker areas and let's see I think that's enough and then we'll dry this knife I think that is super cool if you was interested as well with the the sand shades we've got white air 33 melon yellow y1 pastel yellow and y6 lemon yellow 
So I'm going to end the video here, but I hope that you enjoyed this technique. If you do try it, then send me uh, the picture on Instagram because I'd love to see. What I'm probably going to do now, I will finish the rest of the picture off on camera, but I will speed the rest up and pop it in a different video where it's all sped up and you can see it be done super duper quick. So if you did like the video, please do like it and comment down below. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.